this anymore, man. My head's about to explode. My whole life sucks. I want a lawsuit! I want a fucking lawsuit! Right now, motherfucker! I don't think there is such a thing as a good war. There are sometimes necessary wars. This war will be fought not on the frontier or on some distant battlefield, but amongst us, among our homes. Our children will learn of it in their own eyes. Campaigns of group hatred or class struggle have never made much headway among us and are not making headway now. But new forces are being unleashed. Deliberately planned propagandas to divide and weaken us in the face of danger as other nations have been weakened before. These dividing forces, I do not he hesitate to call undiluted poison. They must not be allowed to spread in the new world as they have in the old. Our moral, our mental defenses must be raised up as never before. And I am not living in fear of the virus. I will not live in fear of the virus, but I am living in fear of something much darker, much darker hiding in the shadows. Basically, the good triumphs are evil. Simple as that. Good guys win, the bad guys win. I need some real American patriots. You need to put down your fucking flag. Joe Biden is a pedophile. Shame on all of you who have voted for this man. Shame on all of you traitors and allowing rapists for fucking children. Oh, fuck. And I will exercise my Second Amendment fucking rights. And I will go to Washington, D.C. This great nation will endure as it has endured. Will revive and will prosper. <laughs> Just begun. I thought she unmatched me. I mean, the Jesse unmatched me, so. Fuck her. I was like, check it. Yeah, I was like, where'd she go? That was just your friend anyway. Well, and I saw her on, uh, I saw her pictures up again. Chicks and nickel pictures. holding up a dime, dude. <laughs> more pictures that she put up. Who? Whatever she could lift. I mean, that was cool. <laughs> she was strong. I mean, it's over, dude. You have a girlfriend. Yeah, literally goes to me. You have a girlfriend now, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, she hurt her back. She had a tough weekend. She shut her phone off for a couple of days. I mean, you emotional literally emotional stress. You pause the intro to answer the text. She has emotional stress right now, as we all do. Dude, I mean, <laughs> on on record, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but if it ever happens and you get the girlfriend and completely ditch everything, dude, understandable. Uh, obviously. Uh, but yeah, it's out in the woods. She said that she'll go live like the Unabomber. You're on the same page. Yeah. I mean, I hope so. we'll see. I mean, she's hitting me with the, the Q copes right now. Yeah. Hey, I don't think it's <laughs> over, buddy. Oh yeah, it's definitely. I mean, it's definitely not over, but it's it is the war it is the uh, war game that Podesta played. Oh yeah, and the that the atrocity that is media, dude, to oh, gaslight yeah. an entire country, <laughs> knowing know. full well things yeah. are going on. Like fucking, they're going in and reviewing all the votes because of the Dominion voting system that doesn't fucking work. It Mich it was used in Michigan. It was used in every fucking battleground state. They had this thing. 
What is it? It's a thing that reads scantrons, and somehow, dude, we can land a rocket on a fucking comet. Can we, can we, though? We can't <laughs> figure out how the fuck to do a scantron. That escapes Dominion, dude. They can't figure that one the fuck out. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, uh, it's weird to see this flip, the psyop that happened through the media from the olden days, the old days of the Bush and Cheney regime, which is going to come back. Oh, yeah. Vengeance. That's it, sick, though, because Kamal Harris is black sometimes. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, but those people were way into, like, manufactured consent through the media. Oh, yeah. Fox News was state propaganda. They were all into this stuff. Oh, yes. Dude. WMDs, dude. All of this, dude. <laughs> and um, now they're so, these urban elite, the same ones, are just cucked out to the point of, like, voting for more lockdown where it matters. It doesn't matter if you lock down in fucking Nebraska, dude. Yeah. No one gives a fuck. If you get locked down in a city, we're just rats in a pen, dude. Yes. Like, if you vote for that voluntarily, I mean, last night was nothing but sirens. My whole neighborhood yeah. was wild, dude. Like, that dude won, and it was like carjackings, yeah. fireworks, gunshots. Maybe he'll enact his 91 crime bill, and they'll all get arrested again. My citizen app went off, and I was like, like, I don't know the difference between gunshots and fireworks. Yeah. And it's like, 500 feet away, a dude got shot. <laughs> because why? That's close, man. 500 feet. Because some fucking... Just because the weather's nice and it's time to unleash... Like, they see everybody wiling out. Yeah, it's time to party. Yeah. I don't know, man. Sorry about ranting or anything, but it's just wild to watch these people get so amped up on, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, what are you voting for? Like, more lockdown? Yeah. Bad economy? Like, the old economy? And now it's going to be like, oh, welcome. let's welcome back Susan Rice and John <laughs> Kerry. Yeah. and Dick Cheney. Let's see if we can do another Benghazi. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, let's see what... I the countdown to whatever the fuck country they want to uh Yeah, whoever's invade. using chemical weapons against their own people allegedly. I went oh, I put up on Spud Mode, I went back and found an old article from twenty thirteen. Try like an old, you know, thing about how Joe Biden's not just a regular vice president. He's way more involved in foreign policy. Yeah. And uh Obama handed it over to him. This was before he did all this weird shit over there. Like, get ready for Joe. Yeah. You know, get ready for Scranton Joe and his million dollar smile. Yeah, dude. It, it's like, it is, if you're trying to gaslight a kid, you're doing so good, dude. Because they're doing this shit, like, no more cages and stuff. And it's like, he literally built them. His brother did. His brother <laughs> got the contract yeah. for the cages. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, what they, is this? This the, is Looney Tunes. The media, before it's part of their rollout of everything. Oh, yeah. So, and, and Trump didn't play, you know, the, my, my, why I'm passionate about it is because that was proof right there that a president could not start new wars. Yes. We could have a pretty decent economy with that. I mean, minus the COVID, we wouldn't even be talking about this shit right now. Yep. And... He called out the military industrial complex on TV. Yeah. Unfucking real. If there was a time machine and you, you could go back before Obama and show someone that clip, like, check out the president in 2019. Yeah. People would be like, we won. Exactly. The people, the, the people from like 06 and 07 would be like, we did it. Yeah. And it's just so insane how the media has like played this identity politics thing. And convinced them somehow that it's not racist. I mean, dude, it's like, I just don't understand how, like, you can, like, you, this whole coronavirus thing happens. And you can tell that it's kind of bullshit by the media. And you're like, all right, that's weird. You look at babies in incubators. They ran with that. Everything was approved. That's why we went in there. The same PR firm. And it's 100% a lie. It's like, why would they lie about that? It's like, dude, people are literally dying. So from wars I've had arguments over lies. I've had arguments with people like about this and you tell them all this. Yeah. You go, dude, it's the same it's the same media, the same corporate media. Like, dude, if you're on the side of corporations, big tech, the social media complex, mm -hmm. whatever the fuck you want to call that shit, if you're on the side of all that, right? All that big money, all that big interest, you're not one of the good guys. Yeah, you're a moron. 
so here's the deal. Like, I'll, I'll just, like, calmly be like, dude, like, no, it's not good. Like, you know, babies in incubators, WMDs, all that shit, anthrax, all that shit, and be like, the same guys that brought you this are bringing you your resistance. Yes. Then they go, well, I mean, I guess that's just what it takes in America for America to be America. I guess you don't know. You don't know what America has to do to keep it like this. And it's like, no, man, like Trump proved <laughs> yeah. that we didn't have to do that now. So there, there's hope right there just from having some random dude. Not ever, not everybody's not a fan. I understand. <laughs> but hey, dude, if you don't, if I don't wake up to like some news thing about how we have to go invade Ry- Iran and like half of Appalachia has to go out and do it for us. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand why yeah. these people get jazzed up for this. They're like, oh, man, whatever. They're like, oh, yeah, Biden. It's like, dude. My Boeing stock's going to go up. Yeah, Biden's going to, like, ring up the old deep state and be like, so what country do you want me to go into? Yeah. Like, I, I remember vividly when the fucking Trump first got in, they were trying to do that shit in Syria. Like, well, what are you going to do? He's gassing his own people. It's like, dude. One of the only times the media was behind Trump. Yes. And it's like, if you don't see this. I'm kind of confused. Like, I, I know that I'm called an idiot for liking things or, yeah. you know, like checking stuff out. Yeah. But it's like, dude, you're an idiot if you don't see this connection here. Yeah. I mean, if you're watching all this shit go down, like, I'm, we're the psychos because we think that, like, something crazy is happening behind the scenes that they don't want us to figure out. Yeah. Just pan back. You're from, we're, like, you aren't from here. You're just looking at these two things going on. There's obvious fraud going on. If it was happened on either side, you would want to investigate it. But now that you're fucking neoconservative weirdo Joe Biden and this fucking dumb bitch Kamala Harris won, They're it's like, like neoliberals. Oh. Yeah, it's like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, it just is what it is. It's, it isn't. Like, it just because we have, the, like, the House or the Senate or something like that, like, that's all I hear. Like, oh, well, we have this and that. It's like, dude. The president still is getting stolen right now. Like the presidency of the United the States. The media is getting stolen. stopped a press conference from our own president and muted him and talked over him. Yeah, saying they everything censored, he said is lies. They censored that. So what's going on now is what went on in like Pinochet's fucking shit, dude. Like this is this is the <laughs> shit wild. they this is the shit they do to South America. This is the shit that they did to Russia. This is narcos. They're trying to deindustrialize the United States, dehumanize you. They want you fighting for food. Yeah. They if they can get it so that you'll you'll just vote to whatever. You'll just wake up and go, please give me some bread, I'll walk to work. Yeah. That's what they do to other countries. Oh yeah. That's what these guys are up to. And they've already sucked us for all we're worth, so that's the next part of the plan. But no, nah, I mean oh the the thing that is kind of crazy is it is not that big of a deal here. Yeah. Because it's just a couple years, man. Yeah, four years. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Yeah, that, know, like other other countries, this shit bodies them. But I don't want to hear these weird arguments that I'm an idiot. Yeah, and fucking, this was a horrible time for fucking who? Yeah, that's a, the only for thing I, fucking who. The only thing O'Connor could come up with was COVID. Uh, don't even get me started on it's weird, like the dude. weirdness that is that kid's sense of humor. Or whatever. <laughs> like COVID is the only thing you come up with all four years. Like there was okay, so that's what shit. I was saying before. It's like the the media backs the COVID. Yeah. They back the lockdowns. Yeah, the same media that's censoring our president. Anybody's fucking antennas jiggling here, man. Yeah, like the, that shit fucking blows my mind. The dude. Biden's fucking slogan is "Build Back Better." That's, uh, that's all the economic forum slogan. Yeah, dude. That is all globalism. Dude. <laughs> that's it's, Agenda Twenty One. Yeah, but, it's the European Union. Everyone. It's oh yeah, Build Back Better. It's like oh no, this guy's really gonna fucking t- t- light the world on fire with the way he's gonna be president. There was a lot of stake dust. If for the United States. There's really not that much at stake. Yeah, you know, like I don't think they're gonna be able to do the stuff that they've done in other countries. But I put that fucking um. Robert Kennedy Jr. put that address out, yeah. and obviously no one gives a fuck because I put it on the thing, but uh, <laughs> the book that he's talking about, The Shock Doctrine, is unreal. Read this book, dude. Why? It's fucking nuts. Well, they, they did MK MKUltra um, on people in the 50s, Yeah, and they realized that they could break people. They, they Some psychologist up in Canada at McGill decided he was an idiot. He was yeah. like... 
I'm going to fix people, but before I fix them, I have to just completely erase their minds. Yeah. So this was like, he wanted to see if he could erase minds. So obviously the CIA gave him money. Yeah. The CIA was like, <laughs> dude, I like what you're, like other psychologists were like, this guy's an idiot. And the CIA was like, yo, we but got you. if it could happen. <laughs> if you can do this. Um, so he started erasing people's minds. It didn't work. He couldn't build them back. But what he did learn during it was like there's a window of time when you're torturing someone psychologically you can get them to do anything yeah and it's through electroshock treatment and this book is about how the cia took this on a on a mass scale yeah they use um crises and they use it to shock economies so like when hurricane katrina happened like the milton freemans of the world like the super cutthroat ec- economists like every man for himself type stuff yeah they were like fuck this dude this is a perfect opportunity to get rid of public schools so they yeah. closed 129 there was 129 public schools in new orleans yeah now there's four jesus christ the rest of them are charter schools and it yeah. was like when the tsunami happened over in indonesia now that all that was like fishermen's places now it's all like resorts I mean, yeah, look at what they're doing with fucking burning shit down around here. Same shit. Yeah, so these guys, like, they, you know, they realized that you could capitalize on these, like, crisis, these shock crises, uh-huh. and they built, like, an economy and a foreign policy, like, together, like, to get, like, oh, dude, these guys are in trouble? Get the IMF in there. Yeah. All this kind of shit, right? And all this is based on MK Ultra shit and uh, Milton Freeman's economic stuff, and it's happening to us right now through the coronavirus. Yeah, and this he Robert Kennedy Jr. I know a lot of people think he's a kook, but he's saying like, read this book, check this shit out. This is what's happening to you, whether you like it or not. Yeah, and that's a dude that I think he probably has a Secret Service detail. Probably. I mean, dude, (laughs) they killed his dad, so he's cool with me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he survived that, and he fucking knows. Yeah, you're telling me he doesn't know who killed his dad? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean he that dude broke it down very good, like. This, this shit is insane. Like fat, like the fact that Steve Bannon's getting fired, like banned off Twitter for wanting Fauci's head. It's like, dude, I imagine would s- being so cool that you're getting fat and you're like, fuck it, I'll just put on another shirt. Yeah, that's <laughs> not I would literally skin Fauci alive at this point in my life. I would do it with a smile on my face. Like I hate touching chicken. Yeah. I could skin Fauci alive <laughs> and not wince once. Well, Bill Gates is already. Uh... All about back in Biden. Biden has a Corona task force coming out now. He's not even president yet, and he's putting together his Corona team. Yeah, uh, they have. They're tar- they're talking about putting the same camps that are in Australia right now in Canada. These like weird, if you don't want to get tested camps. Trudeau can suck a fucking dick. Well, hey man, that's a little too close to home for me. Oh yeah, you do that. I'm yeah. shooting someone. I don't think they can. You know, they need the media. Yeah. To do all like they're the the strongest thing that happens to the US is the media. Yeah. And they like I was like they could have made Trump look cool. Easily. The whole did. time. They did their whole lives. They're, they used to make Trump look like the man. Yeah. And for some reason he went against them and immediately they they all in fucking top to bottom from Obama to fucking the the smallest news uh outlet just started despising him. Dude, it was wild. Made no, he was in every rap song. It's wild now that you got Trump and Rudy Giuliani, who like twenty years ago were heroes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like Trump, Trump and Giuliani, like Giuliani got the mob out of New York. Yeah, and dude, not everybody was a fan of the guy, but I mean, people made buckets of money on the fact that New York was worth something and not an absolute shithole. Yeah. Like, Escape from New York, like, those movies, like, they probably didn't have to, like, adjust the set much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is insane. Just, like, the fact that they, they've gotten you so beaten down over coronavirus, fucking bullshit riots about yeah. murders that are just absolute horseshit. Yeah. And then it's like, well, you have fucking people with brains saying, well, maybe this is good. Things will calm down. They won because they have your whole brain fucked up where you're allow- you're allowing fraud to happen just so that well, maybe there won't be riots and protests. And one of the biggest thing that I've that I've noticed is um, they've got it to the point where 
uh, you know, where did you get this? Oh, where, my God. where are you getting this? So here's, here's the, like, okay, you're so smart and you're so educated and your critical thinking went down to like, what, not if stuff makes sense, where did it come from? Yeah. You're a hipster. Like, so I'm just confused because it's like, you don't need to dress up the truth with anything. It stands alone. Yeah. Like it just makes sense. Oh, yeah. You have to spend a ton of money to keep up lies. Yeah, you have to have stupid And for all magazines. you fucking morons that are <laughs> bitching about the Patreon, we're not lazy. We did one last week, but I had to fucking oven it because I popped the fuck off. Yeah. Okay? We'll get, we'll get into that later. <laughs> Blammo, Michael Pfeiffer. I can't I swear, control I'm... my mouth sometimes because the New York Times has been lying to us since 1945. <laughs> I'll get in your ass on the Patreon. Just wait. Oil up. Yeah, but dude. It is nuts just to see people sit there and just, like, be like, oh, yeah, this is cool. Like, this is what it is. He was kind of a pain in the ass anyway. It's like, dude, I don't watch the news. I turned all that shit off. If you're just living in the world without, like, just you going about your day, no fucking radio, no TV, shit's fine. Yeah, but you're uninformed. Yeah. I'm uninformed, but I'm going to sit there and believe that that Joe Biden got more votes than Obama. Hey, man. That just isn't ha- – oh, in, in Georgia, too, we got more votes than Obama. Damn, people really must like him. Unless the 15 people that were at his rallies could clone themselves a thousand times, I don't think that's true. Well, dude, I remember when – I remember uh, your brother showing me the WikiLeaks. Tom showed me WikiLeaks 7. Yeah. And we were in his apartment. H.A. Goodman, shout and, out. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about, like, it was uh, Hillary versus Trump. And I was like, no fucking way, dude. I was like, there's no fucking way Trump can win. I was like, the Clintons are way too powerful. Yeah. Like, body count, et cetera. Yeah. And then Trump wins, and I'm like, damn, they really do count the votes. <laughs> and, like, I started getting confused. And then you get into this whole rabbit hole of, like, what is going on? Oh, yeah. And before that, though, I, I never believed they counted the votes. Yeah. Before that, I was like, this is all... You know, the military industrial complex picks its next fucking boy to go carry out what supposedly keeps the American economy going. But what it keeps going is Wall Street. Yeah. And in order for the CIA to go make their cash, if you want to read Douglas Valentine's book, this is what they say. They have to go over and have these fucking drug wars so they can get cash. And that liquid makes the um, Wall Street liquid. liquid. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... We just don't need that shit at all. And like, until people want to give up their fucking faggot ass stocks and their four hundred one ks, we're never going to get out of this. Yeah, I mean, if people just all invested in each other, you'd be doing pretty good. Somehow, Trump had the stock market the stock market almost tripled just by using Drony Boys. Yeah, not even our uh, our own people. Yeah. And what's wrong? I know. Hey, man, it's horrible. What happens? I know that they bomb people. It's fucked up. Yeah. But is it better that they do? You're not going to turn off the military industrial complex. Yeah. Guarantee overnight. you get shot. Yeah. I mean, dude, they might have just, they might tell Trump, like, concede or, yeah, bro, that's it. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, it, it is crazy to just sit there and completely, you want to fucking, you can read whatever articles you want, listen to whatever fucking segment of NPR that's on. But, like, dude, if you can't see that currently right now, they're fraudulently electing a president. Like, that's troubling. Yeah, I mean, dude, I that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like they did it. There was a time, man, where when I, my first – the first time I could vote was when they just did this. So this is business as usual for me. The first time it? I could vote 2000? was Al Gore won. Yeah. Al Gore won. Yeah. And then fucking HW came down from Kenny Bugport and was like <laughs> – how about you count that again, Jeb? Yeah. And then the Supreme Court's like, you know what? Florida actually goes to George Bush. So now we have Bush. And yeah. like months later, dude, 9-11 happened. Oh, yeah. So it was like, you know, these for me, it was like, oh, man, all these crazy events are happening. Mm-hmm. And then four or five years later, you're sitting there going like, holy shit, Motherfucker. dude. Motherfucker. The media and all these guys did this. Yeah. You know, a foreign interest coordinated this very confusing shit. Yeah. You start getting into this stuff. I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's not the first time our U.S. elections have gone by the by the wayside yeah. for foreign interest. It was just kind of cool to have hope for a couple of years. 
it's yeah. the MAGA movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. Like, that happened. It, like, I, I could barely remember because I was probably fucking eight. But yeah. I'm sure that it wasn't. It was like people were pissed, but not this shit. No, because the country wasn't divided in the way that the propaganda was. The, they used propaganda on us that was illegal. And I put uh, that in the intro of FDR yeah. saying, like, there's no. Like, that was back then. That dude was like. The propaganda isn't going to work here. Uh, and that's why Europe went to shit. That's why there was World War II. Yeah. And all the propaganda. And, and then they made it legal to do it on their own citizens. Yeah. So that was in 2012. Here. Yeah. Now we're here and you say things that make complete sense. And all you hear is where you're getting this. <laughs> yeah. Or people that are just kind of like, I'm kind of glad now. It's over. Like the Trump thing was too divisive. It's like, yeah, was was it or was the media? Do you think that they're going to turn off the riots now? Do you oh, think yeah. these guys are done with uh, white supremacy? Yeah, racism's over. COVID's over. We did it, guys. Yeah, I mean, wake it, the fuck up. They're just going to ramp this stuff even more. Like it's it's working so good now. Why would they? This stop is going to suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I don't get. It's like, dude. The the dude's different, but now it's worse situations for literally everyone. And there's going to, you know, if you're sitting there and you're living in another country. You're shaking. You're sitting there just going like, oh boy, they're back. Yeah. Is it going to be us this time? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I hate these fucking faggots in like lower Marion and shit that have all those signs, but it's like, oh yeah, Biden's in now. Oh yeah. I mean, we have to go in this area. We're going to have to bomb hospitals. They s- Well, to not think that's anti-Semitic. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it is. If you, if they, oh man, I'm just tough, man. Like, uh, shame is cracking me up with the ISIS commercial. Yeah. But don't forget that we sold, not ISIS, but we sold the the moderate rebels in Syria those Toyotas. Oh, yeah. We gave them the Toyotas because modern warfare isn't tanks. It isn't even drones. Yeah. It's motorcycles and pickup trucks. Oh, yeah. And if you can imagine that in fucking Aleppo. What the fuck do you think Philadelphia's going to look like in 15 years, dude? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Henry Ford, or fucking Adolf Hitler had a life-size poster of Henry Ford, dude. <laughs> that man loved Henry Ford. Yeah, it, it just, it's confusing to watch these people, like, A, like, half ass gloat about it now. Like, like oh, they, I knew this shit was going to happen. Like, yeah, we're better uh, off yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that like, shit. Well, I on, think man. all those things are, like, psychological tools to always keep yourself right and look cool. Yeah. And like once you can shed that as a human, life gets a lot easier. If you don't care that like like if worrying about what other people think about you Gang is a prison. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> that you built yourself. That you could just walk right out. There's not even a, a guard or a key to the fucking door. Yeah. Just open the gate and walk the fuck out. No who cares? You are an idiot. Yeah. You are a fucking incel. Yeah, I. You I, are fucking retarded. <laughs> I love that shit because I just <laughs> I watch the amount of bullshitting that's going on, and like my, all my friends like sit there and talk about like the stock market and shit like that. And I've before like in a group of people I don't know like dude I didn't even know Nasdaq was a company. <laughs> yeah. That's that shit's real. I just thought that was the stocks. And it's like, dude, just be you. Like, it would save so much weird conversation of, like... Do you think you're better than people or people are lesser than if they're not as smart as you? No. Because, that, like, that's supremacist. Yeah. And there's a certain type people think yeah. that way. Yeah. Mostly that, about height, honestly. Yeah. They're, I mean, they. Th- that's how they're acting. No, not my girlfriend. I asked her. Dude. I thought she was totally done with me. She said, nope, exclamation point, just saying. Oh, <laughs> I'm boned up, dude. I mean... She's sending me videos of Dr. Steve Pagenic. She doesn't even know who I am, dude. Save save some for the rest of us, dude, please. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, it is uh it's definitely gonna be interesting because you just see a lot of people just you see I mean, coronavirus already did it for me, like all the people that just go with that. But if you're gonna sit there and go with this, dude, you're just a cuck. I I understand the dislike for Trump. Yeah. As a person. But to see, to not be able to see past that is kind of crazy to me. Yeah. Th- to, to not be able to see, like, okay, man, so this guy didn't invade anywhere. Obviously, he carried on some stuff, used a ton of drones. Yeah. Some weird SEAL teams went out, did X, Y, and Z. Hey, man, we're still going to have uh, national security and foreign policy. It's not going to go away. But I guarantee you there's a reason that foreign policy was not talked about in that last debate. Oh, yeah. And all, yeah. And, and there's a big reason for that because 
Joe Biden is not friendly to the common man of the world. Most people in the world are poor. Most Mm -hmm. people in the world, according to these elites, vote against their interests. They vote for trickle-down economics, like what Trump was kind of giving us. Everyone, said, literally everyone around the globe was pumped about Trump. Yeah, it's because what they want to do really is this shock tr- doctrine shit. Yeah. Where they want to, like, divide and conquer people. If they can keep everybody fighting, if they can make you think that you're going to get somewhere, and this is, gonna, this is what all these fucking leftist college know-it-all kids will tell you, like, you're an idiot. Yeah. You think you're actually getting somewhere? It's like, dude, first of all, it feels real good to get even one rung up the ladder. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, dude, we're still humans living life. Yeah. If you want to just give up and wrap yourself up, um, like, wrap yourself in a blanket, dude, lay in front of a train. Yeah, kill yourself. Fucking die. (laughs) But what they want to do is, like, get it, like, take a housing project. They'll privatize them or whatever you want to call it. They'll say, like, okay, you people that are living in the projects, you can own them. You can buy them right now. Yeah. And... Margaret Thatcher did this, and they go, okay, yeah, well, obviously we want to buy them, then we'll be homeowners. And they're like, yeah, then you can be a homeowner and join, like, the rest of us. Yeah. So they'll buy it, and then immediately they're like, they take pride in it, and they're like, fuck yeah. And then they're like, you know what? I can refinance and get another house because I just basically have this thing. Yeah. And it's got value. And then they, they raise the rents. And now all the people that couldn't buy are getting poorer. Yes. So it starts the economic divide. Uh. The divide and conquer shit economically is like what they want. Yeah. They want to turn the, – they want the elites in the media want to make working class people evil, dumb, deplorable so that they can break up unions. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, minimum wage laws are good because people are retarded. Yeah. You know, teenagers have to go get jobs, but also what are you going to do with a retarded dude? <laughs> who can't negotiate his he can't negotiate his own labor. Yeah, yeah. That you gotta team up with smarter dudes. Those unions get corrupted. Yeah. Like all of these things are good theoretically, but like you gotta keep an eye on them. Yeah. Money money starts getting passed around. The whole thing gets fucking turned upside down. I'm just like I'm sorry I'm ran or anything, but it's just like the shit pisses me off because it's like, dude, you don't understand it any more than I understand it, but what I understand is they like it when things shift and move and the crisis is happening and the shock tr- treatment happens to the economy. Yeah. They're going to jump in here. Coronavirus is a complete – it's a complete psyop through the media to destroy small business. Yeah, if we, if we have another three-month lockdown over this, I swear to God I'm going to go insane. They're, they're rioting already in Europe right now yeah. over another – over a lockdown. I think it's Berlin. Yeah, over no – there's no deaths. Hey man, and these faggots who walk around with the fucking mask. I just got a long. text like someone's someone's dad died of COVID. So don't give a fuck, dude. People wow, die every that's day. Cold. That's cold. People die every fucking day, dude. I could die tomorrow of a fucking heart attack. It is what it is. You'll dude. be noted as a COVID death, obviously. It's just insane. It's like, oh, well, this person died of COVID. Cool, dude. You want to talk about all the people who died of fucking tuberculosis? But if you're a nurse or whatever, or whoever marks that down, like you're this is COVID. Yeah, and you know it's not. You're literally part of a fucking fascist takeover. They're all doing it yeah, too, and it's wild. Just, that's just what that's just what the they tell us to do. These corporate interests are behind trying to unlock the box for Bill Gates to have a trillion dollar business of vaccines. That's all this is. Yeah, they're just creating a fucking. Oh man, I'm getting fired up, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm fucking sorry so pissed because pissed. it's like, I just get I I'm in a tizzy. I'm yeah. Not gonna lie. Yeah. The things didn't go my way. Yeah. It's fine. I was kind of hoping things would, hey, man, just got to tighten up the program, got a crock pot, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Chill out with the garlic powder. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it is de- it's definitely annoying to sit there and watch people who claim to be these educated, like, smart people talk down to us like, oh, you don't understand. The trusted sources are saying otherwise. I'm having a hard time putting this into words, but it's like they're – in order to feel good psychologically, like, ah, oh, I told Spade how it was. Yeah. It's like, zoom out, dude. You're, you know, you're, out of, you're, you're spiting yourself here. Yeah. Like, check out what they're doing to us. Oh, yeah. They're going to do another lockdown. If, if you don't own a small business, that's fine. But if you did, this is a life and death situation. Yeah, this is fucked. And, like, to think that it's not is you're coming from, you know, a point of personal privilege. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, I mean, it, it is crazy, but God, it, it is what it is. Like, okay, another another lockdown. Literally, there's going to be a Great Depression because of it. And then all the people who have fucking friends and family in the military, sayonara, we're going to have to go back over there and protect those fucking poppy fields. Something. There's going to be something. And yeah. it's like, it's cool, though, because I guess, I guess the media we, likes this guy. Check out his cool dog and check out his son, who is just holding his little fucking niece's hand on a stage. No big deal. That's completely fine. Don't think about anything that happened on laptop because it was all deep fakes. That just from hell. That just goes away. No more fucking laptop. Oh, yeah. That it, was just a conspiracy theory. Actually, it, I was looking for that old uh, Biden article, and if you... I just hit in Joe Biden something something to try to find this stuff. Yeah, like one of the fourth results or th- third or fourth result was Biden Ukraine conspiracy theory uh, up from Wikipedia. Like nice work, ADL. Yeah, <laughs> I guess BB wasn't happy enough with the peace agreements in the pipeline. Yeah, I mean you know? the Ukraine thing isn't a conspiracy theory. He literally held a billion withheld a billion dollars. Chris withheld a billion dollars. Unless they fire that fucking prosecutor. Son of a bitch, they fire the prosecutor. Hunter, his son, who smokes fucking crack. A crackhead. I live in Kensington. Go underneath the L. Yeah. Start giving one of those dudes 138000 a year. <laughs> yeah, give one of those dudes 138000 a month. See if they don't wind up fucking their niece. Well, the way that they sold out... the. Uh, they they keep going for Russia collusion. Really, all it is is like Trump's friends with some Russian oligarch type dudes. Yeah, they were all created by Clinton. Like, oh yeah, Clinton like back Yeltsin like all the <laughs> dude. It's wild. There, ah oh, man, I just get so fired up. But anyway, like the the um these the the way that these oligarchs are and the way that they projected all that shit onto the mainstream media like tr- Russian collusion, Russian yeah. oligarchs like. Hunter Biden is an oligarch. Yes. <laughs> Joe Biden had $17 million at, on a tax return. Yeah. How the fuck's this dude making all this money? That that fucked me up more than anything. It's like you sit there and cry about the... Like the You're like, oh, Trump's a bad businessman. He fucked people over. Dude, that's the game. That's what business is. Yeah. They fuck people over. Guess what? These guys aren't saints. Dudes are brutal. Construction's brutal. And yeah. I guarantee you the guys that he fucked over, they weren't angels, man. Yeah. Those guys are dickheads. Yeah, it, it, it's brutal, but it, it's just wild to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, Trump's corrupt. And he goes, so you don't think Joe Biden's corrupt whatsoever? Shouldn't even have the money. Yeah. Literally shouldn't have that much money. At all, dude. <laughs> There's not enough investing in the world that will get you that much money. Also, how come no one said a fucking word about how the fact that he owns an island right next to Little St. James with his family? That's the, Who cares, man? What That's been debunked. Bye. Who? <laughs> it's been debunked, dude. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Okay. Come on, man. I, I, I'm just curious, dude. I want to know. He Joe Biden's family is the luckiest people in the world. They can get away with killing someone in a car. Well, this whole, like, dopey Scranton Joe thing. Hey, guys, wake the fuck up. That's pure malarkey. <laughs> like, is it, could you imagine that Joe Biden, that Obama just chilled and Joe Biden... Like, Obama was a freshman senator, I think, when yeah. he gave that speech in 08. He's 45. And they were like, oh, dude, this is a real, this is a guy we can fucking get the whole country behind. Joe Biden has, t- had at that time, two presidential runs that failed. Oh, because from he, lies. Because he literally took someone else's story about <laughs> living in a fucking coal mine. Yeah, well. That's yeah. what he did. And then you have the fuck. <laughs> Damn, you yeah. have signs that say, I'm tired saying. of the lies. Yeah. Your boy took a whole person's story <laughs> and made it his. That he was in coal, his dad was in a fucking coal mine. You're out of your fucking skull, O'Connor. Yeah, but dude, like, if you uh, think about it, like, Biden was pretty unelectable at the time. And, but he's he's a deep, deep state, like, old time, been around, friends with the fucking Dixiecrats, all the clan, oh, all yeah. the good old boys. Yeah. You know, slower, lower, all that shit. He's the man. Rich people from Delaware fucking blow, dude. <laughs> I know them. I've met them. They don't look human. Like, you want to you wanna argue about a reptilian race, dude? Meet rich people from Delaware. I mean, I can take a look at Joe Biden. Yeah. They look like they're wearing someone else's skin, dude. <laughs> it's fucked. Yeah, well, they, it's just kind of weird. Everyone's like, Obama, Obama. It's like, dude, what if he was just kind of chilling? 
And Joe Biden was like the Dick Cheney. Because what, you think that the Democrats aren't going to take the the George H, the George yeah, W, Cheney playbook. playbook? Come on, man, that worked too good. Yeah. They invented, off of 9-11, they created like Blackwater, these privatized security. They privatized war. Yeah. Okay, man? So they get more money for it. Like, they rigged an election in 2000 uh-huh. and privatized war. And somehow right now, <laughs> somehow right now, the young people, the summer children, like that Pull never up Wikipedia, dude, that, you're lying. <laughs> that never went through this before are all like, you're an idiot. Where are you yeah. getting this? And it's like, wake the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> the, the corporate media, what they manufactured consent. The American people have to go along with this shit, dude. Yeah. I'm just saying, man. Like it, it is crazy. Like that is like Biden was here the whole time. Yes. Like he's been here the whole. He's a dude. He's if anyone deserves this, he deserves this. Yeah. He deserves to rig an election and chill there because I mean the motherfucker's been in all the corruption from back in the day. Yeah. I mean, it, it just it's fucking insane to sit there. You see these like the white liberals and these black people are like, well, Joe, Joe, I'm tired of the racism. Like I know black people who said like. I'm in fear for my life as Trump with my president. Uh, as my yeah. president. It's like, dude, go to 1991. Listen to that man brag about getting mandatory minimums. Listen to him brag you know, about I'm getting. I'm the only white dude in my neighborhood. When Trump got elected, a bunch of little, I pulled my truck out, and a bunch of little kids were like, ah, Trump, and ran away. Yeah. Like, that. <laughs> where they learn that? Yes. Like, th- like this, Biden thinks black people are probably the Ubermensch dude. I understand that he was in office with Obama. I don't cool. think you understand the definition of Uber. Undermensch. But- I'm sorry. <laughs> undermensch. Sorry. I'm thinking of us, dude. <laughs> yeah, but like this dude, you're smoking dust. If you think some fucking rich asshole from Delaware gives a fuck about you and your hood, you're out of your mind. There's a level of wealth that I've encountered in my life for people that I work with that like race, origin, where you come from. Identity politics, dude? Yeah. Yeah, man. If you have money, none of that shit exists. Yeah. Because you have money. <laughs> like, do you understand? Like, those fucking people don't care. Yeah. Are you kidding me, man? They will shit on you. They have money, dude. They have money and power, and they have they have enough money to get power to protect their money. Think about that. Yeah. Like, as soon money. as you get money, you get in this little thing of like, oh, now I have to make sure it can't get taken. Yeah. And it just keeps going and keeps going. That's mo money, no problems. Mo you know? money, mo problems. Yeah, mo problems. Sorry. Yeah. You love rap, early yeah, stuff. Early stuff. <laughs> old, old school. Yeah, it it's just all this is very annoying to sit there and watch people call you insane all day long, and then be like, <laughs> "Oh, well, th- this is better for the country because we got this fucking retard it, and it some might, cop." Dude, it might feel good. They, the dude, through when Ray, Reagan was chilling, doing the Margaret Thatcher type shit. Yeah. Everyone was fucking lording. It's yeah. gonna feel good. They can make. They can take the news and be like, everything's great. Oh yeah. Like, dude, when Obama was president, like, you know, when remember when everything was great when Obama was president and like Ferguson was going on. Yeah. That was super cool. That was. And sick. like then yeah, and the red line in the sand and the Iran deal and all that stuff. All that stuff was super cool. That was sick. Yeah. <laughs> Just give money to terrorists. Fast and Furious and all that. Yeah. It's so cool. It is. At this point, just stop calling us crazy because you see this shit going on. You see the Walter Wallace dude get fucking killed. All this stuff. Perfect fucking timing. That shit could have got thrown away, dude. No one could have given a fuck about that. That would have just been some dude who got shot by the cops. They pick what they want to put the fuck up. And I guarantee fucking to you. That the false flags are going to be, I probably Heavy. shouldn't say that word, but uh, they're yeah. probably going to be ripping. Oh, yeah. You know? You'll probably have a sick terrorist attack, and we'll have to fight for our freedom over in, the, over in <laughs> Afghanistan. Zoom schools are better anyway, because they can't have mass shootings. Yeah. So, good. Sweet. <laughs> Your kids are just going to be uh, 
like, does anyone sit there and wonder if the Zoom schools are just a surveillance state operation where they have 20, like at least eight hours a day of monitoring your house. Yeah. They have consent <laughs> that you can go into your laptop. Or like I want, like it's a fucking webcam that's on in your house for like hours during the day. See the origins <laughs> of Facebook and how all that shit came about. It's like, Oh, zoom just blew up. Wow. Lucky if you had stock in that sport. Oh yeah. Like, oh, I wonder how zoom came about. Fucking pedophile playground. That that's another very disgusting thing. Like it has all like that Sam Harris thing. It has all that going on, and it's like, hey, we're gonna zoom from school. <laughs> all right, people might be in here that you don't know. You can kind of get into these things. No big deal. Yeah, like Sam Harris, he has these guests on. Like he's a great interviewer or yeah. whatever. But like he has these guests that you're like, like he had um he had the guy with the IQ Charles Marion, mm. and then like the next week. He had General Hayden on, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, you know, because you, you want to think, like, podcasts are not mainstream media. I mean, like, Rogan you know, just had Mike Baker on. Okay. Dude, I don't care about Buzzkill, Bucko, and Sporty, dude. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, like, um... Fuck Boise, Idaho. Yeah, so, like, you know, you think that this is kind of like alternative media, and then you get these guys that are big guys, like the new atheist movements and all this, like, yeah. held up as intellectuals for people that like to read, like, fucking that kind of shit. And uh, then, like, he had the head of the former head of the NSA on. Yeah. You know, and, like, the dude just sits and blasts Trump, like, nonstop. It's like, man, it's crazy. Like, the guys that fucking put Snowden away. Yeah. And Assange. But somehow I'm supposed to be rooting for like I, it's like you, like I actually have heard from people be like, yeah, but Assange was a bad guy. Oh yeah, it's I like, hear that all the time. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> None of Pizzagate's real at all. Nothing. Yeah. It's nothing As to see Assange here. is a bad guy because he put people in the military at risk. It's like, oh really? What is it when you send them over there for nothing? Is that yeah. freedom? Well, it's not for nothing. It's just for not for Americans. It's not our war. We shouldn't be fighting them. No, nah, there's no reason. There's no reason for us to have these weird foreign policy things, dude. Yeah, I mean. These countries don't. Uh, there was a time where, like, they tried it. Like, so there's groups, the IMF and all that. Yeah. All the small countries get together and they're like, yo, we can make our own one. And then, dude, when. And war. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. And chemical weapons. See they don't give them a chance. No. They either get, say, listen, we're going to give you a loan and you're going to make X, Y, and Z for us for for 100 years. I mean, think about living in a country where they're like, oh, dude, you guys have a lithium mountain. So we're going to give you enough money to eat, just about enough. We'll yeah. build roads for your kids so that they can go to school. And you are you will go from the third world to the second world. Yeah. But for 100 years, you're going to make cell phone parts. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna get the ore, so we can have send that to fucking the Chinese, and the Chinese are gonna fucking assemble iPhones. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we don't. This doesn't have to happen. Not even a little bit. You know, like we could all just live like awesome lives, and this is what the Unabomber was talking about. Yeah, and that that's people who you could go there and pay them like real mining wages, like you would in America, still make money because it's a fuck ton. Like they're stomping on throats to make themselves an extra like. On every head, like, I mean, a ton of money, but it's like, dude, you could pay all these people, everyone could rise up, and shit would be amazing. Yeah, it's just like, we don't monitor psychopaths and sociopaths enough. And like, if we tried to, like, collectively, the problem is that most people just chill. Yeah. And the real aggressive people that get into this have personality disorders. Yeah. And like, if you want to be yeah. up there on the Senate and stuff like that, there's a good chance you will literally kill people for money, <sighs> and you're a psychopath. And if you, if somehow you were a good person, they got you drunk one night, and you're fucked. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that like that's why I don't understand. You it's got like, Borat. You're in a hotel room with Borat. Yeah, it's like it's the state of Pennsylvania. Like you're gonna represent them, dude. You don't want me represent represent the state of Pennsylvania. I don't want to do that. It's like for you to sit there, like I'll be the representative. I'll I'll tell everyone what's going on. Like you're a fucking psycho. Yeah, it's weird, man. It's weird how little people care. Or the know-it-alls. Oh, yeah. I mean, literally, like, I mean, we were brought up in the big lights on the stage with fucking O'Connor. Literally just cool dude in it. Can't even play the heel, whatever. Can't have fun. Yeah. It is what it is, Chris. <laughs> whatever. I don't understand your sense of humor. It's fine. Um, just repeat all my questions confused. Whatever. But, but dude, uh, 
real sad when I'm like, dude, I fucking talked to Ryan Dawson. He said, oh, come on, nobody. That was like fucking pin drum, crickets. I mean, yeah. It's like, so you guys don't know. You guys haven't looked into any of this stuff. Yeah. Like, if you. There's a few claps. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. hear anything. So I was just like, damn, like, this is retarded. Oh, yeah. Like, to try to sit here and it's a bunch of fucking people that are. And then you, you tell someone about it, it's like, well, who is he? Well, well, just people in general, like, should expand their horizons of just whatever the fuck's on NBC or whatever. Yeah, I don't over know what MSNBC. Yeah, it's like the constant, like, well, where are you getting this uh, alternative media stuff? It's like, dude, the media is fucking corrupt. It's like, fake. Like, anything they give you is wrong. It's just to steer you into a direction. Yep. For mm. economic reasons. Yeah, re- For turmoil, someone, whatever. I'm telling you, dude, they, they have no problem doing coups. Yeah. You know? They don't have a problem. They starve people out. They're they currently starve, fucking a whole country up. They starve out other countries, no problem, to get yeah. them on this whole, like, IMF economic hitman stuff. Yeah, I mean, they're they're sitting there, like, throwing parades and lighting off fireworks for a dude who's corrupted by China who are currently packing Uyghurs on trains to kill them. Yeah, they're dan- supposedly they're dancing in the streets, and they're, like, jumping up and down. It's like, so what would that look like if you're a Syrian? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, are you like, you live in Palestine. Well, what the fuck do you think's about to happen, bud? You're about to get mine. <laughs> the Greater Israel Project's in full effect. <laughs> it's just nuts, dude. It's like, I mean, not that not that Trump was doing any favors over there, but I don't think he played the game strong enough. No. You know, he, they didn't like what he was up to. Not even a little bit. But, that yeah, that's what it's going to be. Real fucking weird. I mean, the way that Podesta and Pelosi, like, war game this, like, 100%. Jones like, called it. Jones called it. Like, event 201, <laughs> same thing. Like, they're going to cause an absolute fissure between everyone. For how how many months have they been, like, saying Trump's not going to leave? That was the weirdest shit on the planet. I've like, never well, heard that. Of course that. he's going to leave. And That's then, never been a question. You're like, of course he's going to leave. And then this happens, and you're like, oh, he's not going to leave. You promise you're not going <laughs> to rape me? Yeah. You're not going to rape me, right? Like, out of nowhere, dude. Like, that was a, that was a debate question. Hey, when they uh, announce a winner, are you going to leave? Like, what well, who's the they? fuck? Yeah. You know? Because I think they killed Robert Kennedy. Yeah, the media. Same people made the election. Um, counting machines doesn't matter. Because it's, it's – I mean, Trump's on – he's playing 18 for the past two days. Trump's been just swinging that golf club looking real sad. But – some people read Sun Tzu's Heart of War, and it seems like that's what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> if it, if, I mean, he does have the courts, but it's kind of tough. If you got if you got the Kush and you got BB, and you're like, dude, it's over. Oh, yeah. It's just going to be back to back – to, uh, they're going to have to wrangle – they're going to have to deal with the MAGA movement and the, and the people in this country. They're going to have to deal with that, yeah. and then I also think – 70 million Americans, apparently. Yeah. I think that this shit is going to – everything is going to go good. Like, if Biden comes in, they're going to go as hard as they can to make everything look like it's going good. Oh, definitely. Show people the That's fuck out. That's what I was out. trying to say. Uh, you know, I was talking to people this weekend, and it's like, dude, you better believe they're going to downplay coronavirus to get – they're just oh, going to yeah. carry on Trump's – they're going to be like, what was he doing in the economy? All right. And then, you know, people are going to be like, this isn't so bad, and it's going to yeah. be like breaking news. You know, Assad, Sandy Hook Assad Elementary really, got shut up again. <laughs> Assad really did it this time. Yeah, he's gassing the fuck out of everyone. We yeah. got to save him. Yeah, I mean, the sar- sarin gas, something will happen somewhere. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, all right, boys. It happened immediately when Trump got fucking elected. What do you mean? Like that gas thing in fucking Syria. Like Trump got elected and was like, what are you going to do? They're gassing him. We have to go into Syria. It's like bomb their air airfield. I'm, dude, I might be getting this wrong, but Trump had an interview where he goes, "You don't think I, you don't think they want me at war? They yeah. want me at war the whole time. That they're the military industrial complex." Yes. I remember hearing him say it and going, "He said it at his Holy rallies too." Fucking shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that just is some wild shit. Well, we can get into it on the Patreon, but it's just like, just from a number standpoint, like all these science people, all these fucking. All this stuff. It's like, dude, if you just look at what the fuck just happened like this past week from a number standpoint and the statistical like Well, improb- everyone, you know, everyone's going to die that's outside the White House jumping up and down right now. And the people that are burning Trump effigies at City Hall, they're 
probably all going to get corona. There's going to be a spike in corona. The the look at me fest that was going on. I saw it on like live broadcast and stuff. There's like no these. difference between that and a Trump rally. No. That's what I – that's like the, – that's the level on the spectrum that that is, dude. Yeah. It's, it's fucking wild to sit there and like – you want to tell me coronavirus is real and that shit went on last night? It's like, dude. Like, Let's get on the same page. For some fucking weird ass reason, they're obsessed with gritty from the Flyers. Uh, the, no, like well, they're like he saved the country. It's like, dude, do you guys watch? Have you talked to a hockey player? Yeah, they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is like we can talk about it on the Patreon, but like the way they talk is like it. I promise, I'll try to keep this Patreon alive, dude. Yeah, it'll make it'll make you <laughs> so angry when you go in and start reading that and see how they view you and to think. For a second, they only think like this about poor white people and fucking, like, working-class white people. Like, they're just – that's who they can talk about online. Like, they think the same way about these blacks that they care about so much. Behind closed doors, dude, they don't even want to be in the same room as them. Oh, I know, yeah. It's insane. Like, oh, like, oh they, they don't know any good, none of this stuff. And it's like you can't get people to stop shitting and pissing in your driveway. Do you think they're cheering that I on? I actually did. I let the girl in my bathroom. That's disgusting. Day. That, hey, and she man. said she'd fuck you, which is cool. That was cool. I caught that on camera afterwards. I'll play you the clip. It's hilarious, dude. I fuck him. Yeah. She's like, I would fuck him. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. What the fuck did that smell like, for real? Like, if you had a... It was bad, man. I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, I don't know what your shit would smell like either, so... Good point. There was, like... It was bad because I think she used Sometimes some kind of, like... Tartness. I think there was, she used some kind of, like, spritz or something. <clears throat> like, an oil, like an essential oil. oil or something. Yeah. Because... You know, I let her in. I thought she was going to go number one, and then she was in there for a while. She was pooping. Yeah, so. But you're right. I don't think the white liberals would even let this person in their house. They would probably call the cops. Yes. And then you know. make sure their Black Lives Matter sign is tucked in tight on their front lawn. Oh, to yeah, show them big that time. They really care. That really is the truth, and I mean— Again, I hate to go back to the manifesto, but he wrote it all down. Thank yeah. you, Ted. <laughs> yeah. We'll go over to the Patreon. All I'll right. see you over there, you fucking pieces of shit, I swear to God. <laughs> Billy's so mad at you.